So for today's Monday Momentum, I thought I would start off by um, discussing some of the questions that we get asked by parents quite a lot. And one of them is, what do I do if my child is struggling with homework? Now, if your child is struggling with their homework, um, the most important thing to do is to encourage them to focus on what they do know rather than what they don't know. Because it's easy for your child to get frustrated and to have a limited, uh, limited beliefs. Now, you may have your own feelings about homework and that's absolutely fine. But what you don't wanna do is project that onto your child. So consider what homework is. Homework is all about reinforcing skills. So for example, maybe the homework is relating to writing and maybe it's paying a, a particular um, attention to um, you know, something specific there. So it could be grammar, it could be you know, the use of adjectives, it could be um, using figurative language such as similes, metaphors, personification, or it could be essay writing, writing an introduction, I mean, body paragraph or a conclusion. So the homework set is to reinforce the task, to reinforce learning that they have done together in a class, in a session. Now, maybe they're struggling because they haven't really mastered that skill, um, and that's absolutely fine. Or maybe they are struggling because they've not understood a passage. And that is, again, absolutely fine. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you take a deep breath and step back and, you know, be there for your child. But you want to make sure that you are encouraging their autonomy. Now, why is that? Well, research has consistently shown that parents who step in, um, who do the homework for the child or reinforce the idea that it's too difficult, too challenging, unfair, actually um, doesn't help the child at all. In fact, it hinders your child because it encourages them to shrink back, to become less resilient. And also, if you think about it, in an exam situation, they're going to be on their own. So we want to develop the tools and encourage them to have greater autonomy with their homework. Um, Associate Professor um, Jana Villajaranta from um, Eastern Finland University, um, head of um, Associate Professor at uh, for Education and Psychology, has proven that it's important that um, you allow children to have greater autonomy. And that's the most effective way of supporting them with their homework without too much supervision or interference. Now, as I said, that's not to say that you um, don't support them, but you want them to be able to feel competent and you want them to be able to communicate clearly what they are you know, finding difficult, but you want them to have a go because they'll know more than they think. So as I said at the start, so what can you do? So one, um, you know, encourage them if they're feeling frustrated to take a step back, to take, to take deep breaths. Two, ask them to read through the tasks. Encourage them to underline any key words. Ask them if they understand what that question is. You can get them to rephrase it in their own words to reinforce themselves that they do understand. Ask them what they think they have to do. And you can give them some guidance with that as well if they're really, really stuck. And then if it comes to a reading task, if they're struggling with understanding it, now, of course, there are times when they do need to understand everything. And that is something that I'm sure, um, you know, your, your child's teachers, us at Level Academy will do. We will go through things if we're focusing on reading strategies. But if that's not the case and we want to test something like writing, then maybe the unseen text is something that they haven't seen before. And maybe it's something they are struggling with. And that's absolutely OK. But rather than getting them to think, oh, I don't understand any of this. There's too many complex words. I don't understand the story. Allow them to first of all think about what they do know. Who's in the story? What characters are there? Um, you know, what in each paragraph is happening? What's the main point of each paragraph? And by doing that, you'll find that your child will be pleasantly surprised by what they do know. And then from there, encourage them to attempt their homework. And then the homework will be you know, picked up on by their teachers, their tutors, and they will be able to see what they've struggled with to give that support. And equally, your child, when submitting it, can say, oh, I struggled with this. So it allows them to reflect on their own learning, which is really important because it reinforces to them, one, their communication skills, but two, it allows them to think about what gaps they have themselves. But what's not useful is if they just say, I can't do it, it's too hard. And then you as a parent either do it for them 
or you agree with them because then you're agreeing with that limited belief. You're not encouraging them to have great autonomy. So those are my um, tips for you. One is to remember that homework is there to enforce you know, a particular type of learning that they have, to encourage them to have great autonomy. Research has shown time and time again that parents who allow their child to have that with their homework, and of course, that's not to say as it's um, you know, not supporting them at all. It's not to say that their teachers or tutors won't support them. I said, we at the level academy love answering questions from students with regards to, to their work and their learning. But at the same time, we want them to develop that resilience and we want them to see that they know more than they realize. And in allowing them to do that, you allow them to practice those skills that then it will allow them to excel and to move on to mastery. So I hope that helps. Um, please you know, remember to leave um, you know, your insights in the comments below. And um, remember to like and subscribe to the channel as well. Bye for now.